Welcome to Mink Life Motivation Live. Are you having a hard time expressing your purpose in your business? Today, we're going to build your brand by promoting your purpose. I'm Peggy. I'm going to be your host today. I am a headshot strategist. Let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to be joined by two amazing co-hosts and our special guest today and all of you because you are also co-hosts. You guys can chime in in the chats. Your chats will pop up on the screen. We love to hear your comments, your questions, and all the amazing things you have to say. I'm going to start by giving a really quick quick, 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 brief introduction of this amazing panel, and then we're going to get started. Um, I have to my <laughs> right here, we have Irina Serena. She is the founder and the amazing Smart Move 360. And then we have Cassie um, Clayton. She is a brand alchemist. You are going to want to hear what she has to say. And our special guest today, Miu Fawn, did I say that yeah. right? Pretty and good. you're an event strategist, so we are going to have a blast. So let's get motivated. All right. How has promoting your purpose helped you on your entrepreneur journey? We are going to start with our co-host, Irina, for this one. How has promoting your purpose helped you in your entrepreneurial journey? I have to say this not just helped me, it is my entrepreneurial journey because my purpose, as I see, is to help people to manage their health conditions, to do good for themselves. And I'm working with people who have type 2 diabetes, but it's a place applies to everyone. And this is my purpose. And this is my brand smart move 360. Make a move, make it smart. And you find yourself turned all the way around on a different platform in healthy and, and uh, happy. So that's how I my business with my purpose i think i i love that i love that because our purpose is is what we're all about all right cassie we're gonna go to you next can we um, say hi to marilyn <laughs> oh hi, hi marilyn sorry <laughs> good morning um so yes uh so I believe that my 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 purpose or my purpose that I set out to to help people with is to help people with their brand, help people with their um, with their websites, help them um, really be able to um, work with something that is very unique to them and doesn't. It's you know help them build something that's not just a, a very large business card, as some people call their websites, um, but really help them build something that they're proud of, that they can stand behind. And that is, that's, that's my goal. And that's my purpose with that. And so, um, so yeah, it's my journey is to help people for sure. Very cool. Okay, Miu, I'm going to give it to you. Oh, God, this is so emotional, uh, because it's very personal. Um, I was one of those kids who grew up poor. And so I want to help kids to thrive in life and the best way i know how is to help the parents especially moms to thrive in business so um it's kind of a roundabout way but i want kids to live freely and not take on the financial burden and i do that by helping their parents um thrive in business so i didn't know i was going to be emotional <laughs> this morning <laughs> This is oh it, this is where it's all happening. I oh. love this. I I think everything that you guys said was so um, so mm -hmm. wonderful. I know for me, I'm a professional photographer. I'm a headshot photographer, mm -hmm. but my purpose is to empower my clients. And I think that mm -hmm. when I really 
show that this is my purpose, not just to get you a pretty picture, but my purpose is to empower you and teach you how to use that picture to um, actually promote your business, to reach the clientele that you're trying to reach, then that makes just a picture something bigger. So when we really promote our purpose, it makes what we do bigger. It lives in, in a, oh, this is exactly what I need. So I think that is, and I think all of you said that in your own ways. And I love that. I love that. All right. Now it's time to stay inspired. All right. We just got motivated. Oh, we're going to get motivated. Do your stuff right, Peggy. Do your stuff right. We're going to get motivated. Why is it important to define your purpose? All right, Cassie, we're starting with you on this one. Um, so it's important to define your purpose because that is going to kind of lead your story um, and, and, and help build your brand story. So um, that is your, your purpose is going to be who is it that you want to help? What are those people actually going through? Um, what is it that, you know, a, a lot of people kind of look at the story as like, what's my why? No, really, what, what's your client's why? What is it that they need? Um, what is it that you're helping them with? What is it that you're fixing them with? And then once you kind of define that, then it's, then it helps them, then it kind of helps you define, okay, how, how, a, a little bit more of how can I present this in a way so that I'm getting my message across to people so that because it because you could have the most beautiful message ever but if people if it's not reaching your right audience or it's not being said in a way that your audience can understand it then you're you're, you're kind of pushing water without a paddle so you know we we work to make all the pieces i love that and i especially love um, that you said, not just define your why, but define your client's why. I think that that is key right there. All right, Mew, what is your, um, um, why is it important to define your purpose? It's important to find, define my purpose. And it starts with me, uh, why I want to do it. Because entrepreneurship, especially online entrepreneurship, it's unpredictable. What happens six months ago changes from today. So it's important to define the why to stay in the game and why I do the things I do. And once I'm able to do that for myself, I can also keep my clients motivated, even though they are not successful now, they have success in the past and we've got to keep them going to really gain clarity in their business. Very cool. Very cool. All right, Irina, we're, we're throwing the ball to you now. Thank you. <laughs> well, first of all, I totally agree with what Cassie and Mia said. And for me, also my life, I am considering myself, I am a servant. I am helping people when it doesn't have to be health related. If I can carry your bag or, you know, give you a ride, I will give you a ride. But this is my life all the time until one day I changed and realized that I also can be entrepreneur and make some sort of all this. And all what I was doing before will not define my business. It will not define my purpose. I needed to narrow. As soon as I was able to kind of describe what exactly touches my heart what exactly i am promising to people what they can get from me that actually was the time when i realized that i have a business yes exactly when you define your purpose um then people have something to connect to you with if you just like well i take for me i take pictures okay great that doesn't give anybody anything to grab onto but if i define my purpose what is my purpose here what am i trying to help my clients do then a client can say oh i need that help 
and and it gives them a reason to attach themselves to you and and work with you so i think having a a specific definition and a purpose defined helps people actually come to you instead of just yeah everybody's a photographer everybody's a health person everybody's a you know it gives them the the reason that they connect with you and it pulls them into you all right you guys this is fun all right let's stay inspired now how about i do it now all right we are going to start with me you Ooh. And how does a lack of understanding of your purpose affect how the way we move through our life and business? Oh, that's a tough question. I have to be honest. If I don't have a lack of purpose, trying to get me to move is like pulling teeth. You just can't make me move. I have to have some kind of clarity or somebody to cheer me on. <laughs> like, come on, music. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important to, for me to really understand the purpose uh, for me to, and I hate wasting time. If I don't have a purpose, I'll just go in circles <laughs> too. So, yeah. I, I hear you on that. I, I absolutely hear you. Irina. Same thing. Uh, and uh, just to continue to what I had said in the previous uh, round, until I realized and narrowed down my purpose, I was doing everything for everyone. And as a result, it's kind of like doing really nothing. <laughs> but now when I realized what I am capable, what I can do, and what people can expect from me, that helps me to, to, to continue doing what I'm doing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cassie. Um, so I, 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 I agree with both Irina and you. Know, so what I, what I feel is that if there's a lack of purpose behind something that I do, I like, I have always been the type of person I've got to understand what, why, why are we doing this? What is mm -hmm. the reason? And I actually like a couple of jobs that I used to have. It's like one, one of my, one of the girls that I worked with was like, once you understand like serious, like when somebody will, will tell you, this is why we're doing it this way. You're like, okay. But until, until I understand why this is being done this way, it's like, to me, there's a huge disconnect. And it's like, I, I don't understand. It's like, it's just, an, I don't understand why we're doing it. And so therefore there's no reason for me to move forward. With it. <laughs> <laughs> which is probably good that I work for myself now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, um, but it, it, it's understanding why, why things are, are done a certain way or, you know, like I did, I did live and I worked on cruise ships for five years and many of the times we would get orders from, from corporate office and you're like, this doesn't make sense for ship. Like this makes sense for an office situation, but it doesn't make sense for onboard living. And so there, there was always this like, you know, the, the staff and the crew would be talking and we're like, wait, what, why are we implementing this? We don't know. And we're like, Hey, welcome to ships. This is, we don't, we don't understand it. We don't get it. But a lot of the times we're given orders that we, Okay. <laughs> I think, uh, I think anybody that's listened to me has heard me use this analogy many times. It's like throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks. And I think that's exactly what you were saying. It's like, why am I doing this? There's no intention here. There's no purpose here. Yeah. <laughs> but, but once something has a purpose or a clarity around it, it's like, give it to me and, and like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's, I mean, even with my social media, like I struggled with my social media for forever until somebody broke down, like, these are the, these are like the types of posts you need to be rotating between and gave me like a format to follow. And then I was like, cool, done, <laughs> ran with it. And then like my whole year was planned, right? So it's like, give, give me a drive, give me a purpose, give me a reasoning for doing something and I'll take that and, and run with it all day long. Yeah, I'm the same way as, as all of you. I need that purpose to get out of bed because if I don't have a reason, then it's like, 
you know, I, I get, even, I get frustrated. My, my, um, I get anxiety. I get depressed. I like the, all the things happen. So, um, think about it in our business. Well, if we don't show a purpose that our clients and other, our potential clients can connect to, then they feel the same way about us. Why would I work with them? If there's no defined, if, if, if you don't even understand why you're doing this, why would I connect with you? So I think that's important that we really focus on these things. Okay. This is such a fun, exciting group of people. All right. We're going to keep networking. All right. I think we're back to Irina starting us off. And um, <laughs> the question is, who should we ask for help when we are trying to improve are communi um, communi communicating, improve communicating in purpose. Who do we need to help us? Well, I have two answers to it, or two kinds of help. From one standpoint, in my personal opinion, I need to ask for help from people who already got some results in the area where i wanted mm -hmm. that results but from another standpoint i also need help in understanding how my message went through from the audience who i'm speaking to so kind of like okay this is my best version of my message at the moment i need to test it i need to find the right people who will be able to hear it to receive mm -hmm. it and give me the feedback that will help me to help them <laughs> in you know kind of like in in this cooperation so experts experienced people to craft mm -hmm. it and people the users to tune it that's my mm -hmm. oh i love that that's that's i love that all right cassie All right, so um, the um, t tell me the question one more time, Peggy. <laughs> Who do you need to ask to help you to improve your ability to communicate your purpose? Okay, so for this, I feel like it's you. You never really want to be the smartest person in the room, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you are the smartest person in the room, then there's nowhere to to look to to gain knowledge. And so I think it's, um, you know, finding those people who know how to, you know, who have succeeded to the next level that you're actually trying to go because then, then you don't have to figure out how to pave the way yourself. You can always, you can always ask and, and, or see what somebody else has done. And then you kind of have a little bit of a roadmap to follow. Um, also, you know, it's just like in, um, you know, one of the things that I do like about mink life, is like when somebody comes to the, to the room and they're like, we I've got an event coming up or something like that. Like, and you know, there are these pieces that they don't necessarily know how to do. So we work on it together to help them get it done in 20, 30 minutes where it would take them, you know, maybe a couple days to do it on their own. And so it's just kind of like, it's working with the people who are those experts in that areas to to figure out where you need to go next and i, I love that. that i love that okay mm -hmm. you you are going to um um be our final um one on this so it's all on you now are you ready who do yeah, you need I'll take a, to surround um, to a, yes i want to piggyback on cassie and what you irina said um it's super important for me to really be honest and be to, with myself at, and really figure out, okay, where I am and where I want to be. And then find the people not only have done what I have done, but also have helped people. And I really think have helped people who have similar situation as me, because uh, when we're online, I find that a lot of people have had successful 10 years ago, but 10 years ago doesn't necessarily apply to now. So I want to make sure there's their ability to support me is very current um and then also to have also be honest that you know i can't do everything myself and so to help me fill my summit i actually hired on the spot 
uh, <laughs> a copywriter because I'm like, man, <laughs> that's a lot of work. I'm not a, I mean, English is not my first language. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's about really asking for support and for support from people who have helped people who are in similar situation as me. I love that. And I love that Irina brought up something that's not always brought up in this conversation. And that is surround yourself by the comments of your consumers, of your clients, of your customers, because um, their complaints, <laughs> their, their um, shrugs are going to be um, beneficial for you to make sure you can accomplish um, what you're trying to do. So these are all great, great things. And and we have to add in a Ron Stoffer quote here. Um, my dad, if you guys watch this no, no, he always says, never be afraid to hire people smarter than you. You mm. always want to be around those people that are better than you. And I think all three of our amazing co-hosts and guests said that. So I think that that was really good. Okay. Are we ready to gain some knowledge? All right, this is the 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 um, speed round. You are going to give one tip. Wait, what is your final one tip for growing in areas of promoting your purpose? We are going to let our guest start. All right, Mew. I would say your... our partner. I gain gain a lot of connection, uh, make strong connection and relationship. So you we can support each other and have a power partner. And what a power partner is, is have people who serve the same audience where you can cross promote one another. So there's not so much heavy lifting. Um, that's all I got. It's uh, create relationships and connections. Create relationships and connections. I love, love, love that. Irina. I will, first of all, great great suggestion me it's 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 definitely extremely important power partner and in mink life that's what we are doing here and one of the tips what i for myself keep reminding and come back to is to simplify the explanation i tend to write long sentences several lines of sentences and uh, at the end of the sentence i forget what i started with and I can imagine that people who read those sentences, they are pretty much uh, lost in the middle of it. So when we simplify it, when we are able to put our purpose in the words that seventh graders will get, that really shortens our way to, uh, to, to the hearts of our customers. Very, 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 very important. All right, Cassie. Um, so for me, I'm going to go with being consistent, being consistent with your messaging all across the board, um, everywhere that you are seeing, making sure that you have the, not, not just the wording for your business, but also your visuals, um, how people see your business visually to the point of when if someone were to take a post off of your page and share it somebody else somewhere else, they would still know that it was yours, that it came from you. Um, and so, but just being, just having that high level of consistency um, and also that, that it's going to help you gain more recognition as well. Absolutely. And I'm going to tie up all of what you guys said by saying, do it with intention. Every single thing you do should be intentionally pointing to your purpose. I think this has been such a fun, fun, fun day. Thank you guys for all hanging out. I think we should have some announcements. Let's start with our guest. Tell us what you have going on how people can um, reach out to you. So Mew, tell us what your announcements are for right now. Uh, my announcement is I have a Thrive in Business and Prosper in Life Summit. So it's a three-day summit, uh, May 13th to the 15th. It starts at 9 a.m. PST time to 2 p.m. PST time. And it, it talks about uh, business strategies, 
uh, work-life balance, health and wellness, and relationships, of course. And hello, John. Hello, John. Awesome, awesome. How exciting. That is, uh, that sounds very, very wonderful. All right, Irina, what do you have coming up for us? I also have an event coming up. It's at the end of the May of month of May. It's 28th of May, Global Virtual Health Fair for people with diabetes, people who want to know more about diabetes, people who care for people with diabetes. All these topics will be discussed there. This event uh, really uh, geared up towards people who were just recently diagnosed and don't know much about the diagnosis, do not know much about the disease. And uh, we have medical professionals, we have uh, healthcare professionals, well care professionals speaking there, giving suggestions, sharing their wisdom. And um, uh, anybody around the world are invited to be there. It's global. It will be on Eastern Standard Time, uh, and this is a one-day event, so not a very big commitment, just six hours, and everybody is welcome to join us. Smartmove360.com, and uh, you will <clears throat> you will find there the link for registrations. You will find the ways to contact with me, and that's how I go. Yay, and I just want to add something because Irina um, sometimes is limiting in her in her speech. Yes, it is absolutely diabetes 101 and it is amazing. But I know a lot of people that have had diabetes for years that can still benefit mm -hmm. for the amazing information that she provides and the amazing um, people. So um, <laughs> Cassie's disappeared. We're going to give her announcement in a second. Um, I'll just announce for you. Cassie is an amazing um, brand alchemist she designs websites she does so many things you want to make sure that you visit her um visit her website check out all the amazing things that she does follow her on social media and she has a special offer for you if you need a web website and any anything else so just go to this website below. It is stargazersunite.com backslash mink life and take advantage of that special offer. All right. Now me, I am Peggy. I am your headshot strategist. Um, if you are thinking, hey, what is this headshot strategist? Give me a call. Book a time for a free consultation and let me talk to you about how important your first impression, aka profile picture, headshot is in actually attracting the cor the correct clients that you're trying to attract. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's talk about Mink Life. If you would love to hang out and be a guest of Mink Life Live, visit the website below minklife.com backslash live and put in an application and say, hey, I want to hang out with you guys because you're freaking cool, right? So if you have something you think you can share, um, fill out an application and we will contact you and we'll have you on soon. Also, you really want to join. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of gave an announcement for you. So thank you. <laughs> Be a part of this amazing community, um, minklifeuniversity.com. Find out all the amazing things that are going on. Um, we have a minkubator. It's an incubator co-working space where we all, you know, I think um, um, Cassie was mentioning how we just kind of jump on and help each other with our projects and, and um, join in on our own zone of genius to help all the people in the community. This is an amazing community. It's changed my life. Absolutely. And we have conferences. We have so many amazing con conferences globally. And if you want to shine and be a speaker at one of our conferences, go to next.globalvirtualconference.com and find out how you can become a dynamic speaker. 
Um, join us live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific time. We are doing the same thing same thing a same amazing live show we do it twice a week this time frame and thursdays at 2 p.m pacific and um it is going to be amplifying your likability with colleen struby amy lucy and um natalie clark this is going to be amazing and you will see me in the chats tomorrow. I will be um, the co-host on the couch. I will be all over those chats because these conversations are so fun. All right, guys, we did it. Thank you, all of my co-hosts and all of you on the couch and our amazing guest for hanging out with me this morning. We will see you tomorrow at 2.